Let's say you see an advertisement from a gambling company. It says there is a chance for one person to win a million dollar. That person could be you. Try your luck. How do you feel? Now, look at another ad. There is a 99.9999% chance of you losing your money. Try your luck. How do you feel now? Actually both of the ads has the same meaning, it was just framed differently. When things are framed differently, people will perceive it differently. This psychological effect is called the framing effect. There are a few types of framing effect. Let's look at it together. The first one is auditory frame. Imagine you are looking at someone's video. Now, compare it to this one. One gives the idea that that person is happy. And which one gives you the idea that the person is sad? Sounds, background music, the intonation of the salesman, can influence how you feel about something. It will also influence your decision to buy. Visual frame. The way a certain visual is presented will also influence your perception. What do you think of this picture? It shows ads for sports attire. Something that makes you look masculine and tough if you wear it. You might want to buy it. But if we frame it differently, just change a little bit of color, how does it appear to you now? It looks softer now, less masculine. Look at these two pictures. Which orange ball is bigger? Actually, it is the same size. But because of the existence of the different ball size around it, it makes you think that the orange ball on the right looks bigger, and the orange ball on the left looks smaller. That is the framing effect. Value frame. You need to take a vaccine to protect you from getting infected. But you read that you will have a 99.991% chances of having no complications that can cause death. Would you take the vaccine? Now, you read somewhere else. It said that out of 100,000 that took this vaccine, 9 have died. Would you take it now? It definitely looks scarier when it is presented this way. The two statements are exactly the same. But if presented in different way, it could have different reaction. One more example. This tuxedo cost $927 with no extra charges. Next door, the same tuxedo costs $900. But there is a 3% credit card charge. Which do you think is more appealing with credit card users? Most people would like this option. Although both item has exactly the same price, but the option on the right seems to take something from you. You feel that you lose something. This is called loss aversion. Positive and negative frame. Let's say a shop have 10 limited edition shoes to sell. They already sold 7 of them. Which sign would you think will make people want to buy it? 7 has already been sold, buy. Now. Or, only 3 left, buy. Now. The negative frame in this example works better, although it has the exact same meaning. There you go, the framing effect. Next time you want to talk, show something, or sell something, make sure you frame it to your advantage. Make it more appealing to others. It's all about the framing.